What's up, Nation? Welcome back to another video. Scouting has dropped for another year. So the big event, um, like, it's been out for basically all of last season's comeback, and I actually like a lot of the changes of scouting this year. In fact, most of the promos I'm a pretty big fan of, except for Team of the Week. I like that it's with the daily objectives. I just wish it was a little bit easier maybe to get players and stuff like that towards the Player of the Month points, um, everything, you know, the ability to auction the players, those kind of things that they added in later in the Team of the Week. But the scouting one, is back um, with some big massive changes from it was with last year we also have some updates to the squad we've been putting together this full arsenal squad we still have that rashford card up front um but there is a card in scout and then i'm looking hoping to add to maybe replace that rashford card uh we got ramsey in the middle we got jack we got Bayerian and holding and nacho monreal on defense and mkhitaryan we picked him up as well so a very nice looking squad 70 Three for our chemistry, 84 overall. We're starting to move through our campaign event um, into the master campaign. We finished one of them. Uh, we finished off the previous tier as well. But basically, in scouting, if we go into this, there's two pieces to this. There is this main place, and then there is what we have with the EPL. Now, I think and I believe I saw that this is going to add new ones like every week or every few weeks. They'll have new ones that go on this EPL. I wonder if it says at the start here. I think info here let's see what it says here okay so win scouting matches to get special including points um, that can be used to claim more scouting players so we've been grinding along this one uh, we'll show you the players we packed I'm running out of time every day goes by so fast and every moment counts baby I don't want to miss a thing we can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep um, But it's pretty decent, we got ourselves some 77 overall players out of the out of our three packs And then we can go get one more gold scouting player at the end of this one as well um, So basically what you do is you, you grind along them, most of them too Pretty much until like the point we're at, and I haven't tried the one we're at, you can auto play with a lot of these. But we do have an 84 overall team, but a lot of these early ones, 72s overall, 73s overall. Um, so it's not like a, a, a huge grind. Then there's also the main side as well where you can get more scouting points and you can do those with there. There's also these packs which you can get with the diamonds, that sort of grind currency that's now like a general grind currency versus having it. So I guess that's the point of the diamonds it's a general grind currency or you can use FIFA points a lot of FIFA points and actually a lot of these diamonds as well but I'm interested to see what we get in this so we will open up one of these packs to show you what we got inside and then we'll show you how the scouting thing is going to work on the other side 90 scouting points though that's a pretty good pack right there 90 scouting points um, and our next one we get ourselves 74 chambers uh, not a bad pull um, it would have it would have probably been better to you know maybe get ourselves uh, that Awobi card um, that they have in there. So we'll show you all the cards that they have right now. I'd seen like images of master cards. Uh, Zaza is a master card, but I didn't see him in here, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But you got Smalling in here, Mendy in here, some really nice ones. I really want this Awobi card. That one definitely would be a nice card. So there's the cards we got going on with the scouting offers, all the elite ones. Um, obviously, there's some gold players and stuff you can get as well. So maybe some more players that I might want in there. Um, and then each round, basically, you get the EPL players. Um, I'm assuming that because we have this part along the top, you're going to get La Liga, you're going to get the Serie A, you're going to get all these ones along there and each of the players you have you can pick up for the points and then there's this discounted one that gets you every player um, and that's going to uh, be 830 so for 830 you can get all of them or you can pick and choose your players there's also this reset offer thing which allows you for 20 points oh good thing I still have 20 points I was like oh I might not have 20 points anymore just that 2500 uh, but it refreshes the players gives you another chance at them uh, to see if you can get another player that you would want oh man that 86 Bernard, 580. I wasn't gonna go. I was gonna wait for a Wobi, but look at that pace. Are these, they're not auctional. 106 acceleration, 100 shot power, 100 and, this is like a beast card. I might have to try and go for this card. I might have to actually go for that card right there. I was like really looking and hoping to go for that Wobi card, but I think that, I don't know. That's one of the. That's a tough one right there because I don't really see too many better offers than that one here. Um, I do like this Awobi card, but the pace and stuff like that. I think it might be really helpful uh, to have that card on the team. So I think just based on the stats of this card, I might go for it. Oh, do you have to go in order? Oh, that's that's unfortunate. Oh, 
That sucks. I thought I was gonna be able to- Oh no! Less cool. Okay, so we still have to grind through more of these events, obviously, for it. Um, but uh, you do get enough to do all of them by the end of this. So if you do this, I think we were going to have close to enough, another 200. So yeah, that, yeah, we would have been pretty close because we can get 100 at the end. Pretty close to getting enough to do one like full round set of it. Um, so we'll try going through some of these matches, uh, finish that off, and then we'll check back in to see the players um, that we're going to claim. All right, so we're finishing off our final match here. Um, so against Man City, getting the victory to get our final points from this one. Then we're going to get ourselves uh, the uh, all the points we need to get it. We did have to pick up three packs in the store in total in order for us to actually get this card, um, which kind of is unfortunate. But I'm I'm hoping, I'm thinking that this is probably not like a one week event, and that you could eventually get it. Uh, you know, if you're doing a free-to-play or whatever, that this is just going to continually go kind of throughout the season. That would be my hope with it. Um, we'll kind of take a bigger look in that and see if that's kind of the case. There have been 100 scouting points and our player 76 holding. Um, so definitely, I didn't even know that was an option, but 76 overall Rob holding, that is really sweet. That is awesome. I have his other card in there, um, but it'll be interesting to kind of compare the stats between the two. So I actually went up and put his other card um, into his overall, but very cool. There we got holding in that one. Um, so we can get it for 1,015 out of this one. So we do have enough to claim all of the rewards there. Um, that's supposed to be discounted um, to get like, rather than going through all of them. Um, so it does seem to be a little bit cheaper if you go that way. Um, but basically when you do this every two, or every, what is it, every six hours probably, um, you can, uh, you can redo the scouting point events, get more scouting points. Um, so if you're getting those ones, you get about 800 from doing the, the quest and then you get these ones as well. So even if it lasts, you know, for a week, and, and I'm not even sure how long it lasts for, but if, if you know, let me know. But it, it, how long does the actual thing last for? Now maybe this offer will come up again, but as you refresh them, you know, you can keep saving up. So the big thing with all of these events, save up your points. If you save them up for a good one that comes up, one where you're like, yeah, that's definitely a player that I want to get. And I think this is one where we do want to get that um, because that, that card, that nine, well, the 82 overall uh, most card, I also think is good, but this Bernard card is crazy good. Like, actually, so is this. They're both really good cards, um, but look at this. That is that is an insane card right there. Shooting, obviously, pretty low, but like the speed and everything else on that one, absolutely insane. So I'm gonna try and reset it just because I wanna see what else we would've gotten. It's probably a bad idea. This is always like where you're gonna regret it. But anyways, we go in and we would've got, oh, we would've got the goalkeeper. Okay, so that wouldn't have been 620, quite a good goalkeeper, actually. Um, but then that would have been 1,055. So they all do have different values on it. Um, but I'm thinking that you're able to kind of play through this one, play through it a bunch of times, um, and, and go through it. That, that's my hope, kind of, you know, through the weeks and stuff like that, um, so that you don't actually have to pick up these packs in store because you basically get 800 from doing the, the campaign side of it, and then you can get the rest of them from the other parts and eventually get to the players. But my, my goal, or my, my advice with this, as it always is, is save up your points um, until you get the end. So we'll put our two new scouting players on the team. Um, I, I wish one of them would have been a Wobie, obviously, but uh, we have Holding here. The Holding, we got two different versions of them. I definitely like the look of that version. Stat-wise, um, they're pretty close. You have a little bit better shooting on this Holding card, so I'll probably go with this version of it, um, just because it does look a little bit cooler there. And then we're going to swap out this Rashford card, because look at that. Look at that stats. Look at the stats on that one. It's going to affect our chemistry a little bit, um, but I definitely want to see some gameplay with this card. So we're going to check it out. I do like the card art on these cards. Um, they definitely look very nice. That's without even training him up. Um, he's already got that uh, that wicked stat um, on him. So we're going to test him out in game. We're going to do one game to end this off. Um, but uh, there you go. That's scouting. That's everything we know about scouting in this one. So we'll finish off with one head-to-head -head match, checking out our new scouting players holding and Bernard. Check out the speed on this card right here. Um, so I'm hoping to see some uh, some good runs with them. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we also did get new kits. I don't even remember, like, I, I totally forgot about that. As, as I see our opponent uh, in their different kits, um, it looks like everybody actually got different kits. So I'm interested to know, who did you get in your kit? Um, nice save by Mkhitaryan there. Okay, here we go. Let's see the pace. Let's see the pace. Great pace right there. Great turn. 
Great work to get into the box. Takes the strike. And it's over the bar. That was a little bit hard on that one. He doesn't have the best shooting either um, for like the stat, but uh, but a pretty decent effort considering he's only got 78 shooting um, from a pretty impossible spot, I would say, on the ball there. Where? There you go. Mixed turn. Okay. Let's see this. Just use the speed. Just uses the speed. Impossible to stay with. Impossible to stay with this card. And he's got great skills too, so we can actually uh, make turns pretty quickly. We kind of messed up going backwards on that one, but uh, you can definitely get some good runs with this card. Look at that. Look how much he just gets past the defenders, gets the shot in, and a beautiful header. It's gonna make a dynamic do with him and Aubameyang there. Um, so a nice, like getting that speed, he gets past him, he gets some good crosses in because of it. Both of them fast cards too. So they're definitely gonna be an upfront pair. That is gonna be one that is gonna be one that you do not wanna have to go up against as you go in again. Okay, here we go. Watch this. As soon as he takes off, he takes off. Can't stay with him. Takes the strike. A nice save from the keeper. That time too, uh, it's one of those ones I probably should have curved it, but I was just trying to get rid of the ball in time. But uh, but definitely, he's got good strength. For a card, I didn't look at his strength, um, but, uh, but he's able to really stay on that ball as well. Oh, that was really poor defending. All right, so second half. We'll see what happens in the second half, um, but I'm thinking we got this. We got this. We just got to get a few more runs with them. Let's we'll see what happens. All right, so Neymar's going to put it back. Brandt's going to get it. Mkhitaryan's going to try and get in there. Mkhitaryan's going to get in there, and we're going to get to see... Nope, almost get to see him. Look how fast he closes, though. The speed on this card, the, especially at this point in the game. Like, obviously, there'll be a point when uh, 101 speed maybe is not you know, amazing, but right now, as a base card, as like a just original card that you can get without leveling up, it is amazing. All right, Aubameyang coming down the other side now. Also with speed, also with speed, into the box. Mkhitaryan cannot get there, but on the rebound, he's gonna get there, and a nice goal right there to seal it. We should have tried the Scorpion. I, I feel like he should have done Scorpion kick, but, uh, but it's okay, it'll happen eventually. It'll happen eventually as Brand tries to bring it back now. Nacho Monreal running back on defense with him. Coleman, you know he's going in the box. You know he's going in the box. Oh, beautiful play from Holding. And that's the Holding, the Scouting Holding card too. So we got to see that one in action a bit as well, which is kind of nice. You can see both of them in action there. 70th minute here. Oh, Jacka ran the wrong way. Oh, get there. Get there. Okay, here we go. Rule at it to try and get, oh, I was trying to see if I could just get, like, momentum going with it. What I really want to do one time is try and send one, like, over the wall to him. Okay, holding. Show us what you got. Show us what you got. Oh, bad. Bad play. Bad play. Oh, we gotta watch it again, though. That was bad defense. That was a bad move on my defensive part there. Okay, Ramsey. Uh, Silva tries to get there. It's taken down. That's going to be the final score of the match. So a very uh, a fun card to use. I actually do enjoy using that card. He's got some good speed, especially probably in the campaigns. You can just throw it over the top. Um, he's going to be a helpful card to have there. But there you have it. Thank you for checking this out. And thank you for stopping by. We're moving our way up into world class on our way to try and get that bail card. Man, put like all three of them up front. And you're going to have an insane front three of Bamiyang and Bale up front with them it's gonna be a crazy team but anyways thank you for checking this out and thank you for stopping by it's been a pleasure as always stop d out